Blender is all about making various 3D styles, whether it be stylized or realistic. With proper knowledge and technique, you can achieve anything you want. And although Blender excels at doing so, there are certain styles that are very hard to achieve digitally, and the traditional ink drawing style is one of them. Because such a style requires manual work, special brushes, and so on, which makes the process a little bit complex. This is exactly why today's video, we're gonna show you guys an add-on that is all about generating ink painting effects inside Blender. Using the Ink Tool add-on, you can get all sorts of ink effects directly to your scene by using materials, weight paints, and geometry node generators. After installing the add-on and finding it in the end panel, you will be met with a compact interface containing many features that the add-on offers. The very first thing you would want to do is set up your paper background using the tool in the effects panel. And if nothing happens, it's because you're gonna need to check the distress tool to toggle it on. To further customize the effect of the background, you need to head to the shader editor and under the world settings, you can change the view strength, pattern color, scale, and so on. And now that your background is all set, you're ready to move to something else. And using the ink texture function inside the ink panel, you can easily and quickly apply a procedural ink texture to your selected objects. And you can customize it by changing the noise values, colors, ramps, strength, and strokes, and more. In addition, you can go into vortex paint mode and do some manual painting to add your effect to specific areas for a more traditional look. The next thing that you want to do is add an ink outline using the ink edge tool, which will add geometry node setup to your object containing a couple of sliders to fully adjust the effects and look. And it gives you also the ability to go into vortex weight mode to add gradients or to simply exclude parts of your objects from receiving the outline, which works very well for giving you an organic feel. After that, you can add a plane under your objects, subdivide it, and use the ink shadow to add a special texture to your plane, which you can also customize until you are satisfied. Now, to get your shadows to be cast onto your plane, you need to go to the vertex paint and paint the areas you want your shadows to appear in, as simple as that. Another cool feature that Ink Tool offers is Ink Brush Tool, which works by generating ink brush strokes that you can add to custom curves, which you can freely move and edit however you like. These strokes can also be applied on top of certain parts of your mesh, and you can do that by directly drawing onto your meshes after hitting the surface button on the top left of your curve manipulation tools. Also, the Ink Brush Tool, just like the Ink Edge Tool, is also powered by geometry nodes meaning that you can get a new node modifier that contains a lot of settings to change the gradient colors, strokes, thickness, dryness, and other stuff. It should also be noted that this effect produces a flat plane that can make it not visible when viewed from an angle. So there is an option to make it always face the camera, and you can find that under the geometry node modifier. And the chair on top of that, you can animate your brush strokes, giving it a cool effect that you might be interested in using within your projects. In addition, the add-on comes with a couple of commonly used assets that you can add to your scenes, which are bamboo leaf, branch, leaves, and stone. All of these assets come with their very own customizable materials that you might want to play around with. And finally, the add-on comes with a couple of GeoNode generators, for quickly adding animated branches, which are fully customizable with settings for the count, seed, start and end points, rotation, wind control, in addition to other stuff. The ink tool also offers a generator for scattering both rocks and grass onto a plane, which you can also customize by changing the density, minimum and maximum values, and seed, and even using your custom assets if you want to scatter them around. And there you have it guys, if you are interested in this add-on, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful and informative, if you did, please give it a thumbs up, you can also check some of our previous videos, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.